This last year, I turned 40. And one of the things I have been wondering for quite some time is whether or not I am slowly losing my hair. And let me just stop for a second and say, I know that to be 40 years old and have this set of hair is pretty lucky. I don't want to complain here. And I know there's plenty of guys out there who are saying, Colin, your hair looks great. I love your hair. I wish I had your hair. I wish I could run my fingers through your wonderful hair. I know that's a fact. But there are a couple of reasons that I do not want to lose my hair. Because there's a lot of guys out there who, upon balding, they get to shave that head, shave that hair down, grow in a nice, luscious beard, and they look fantastic. I have friends like that, and whenever I see them, I say, man, I wish I had their not hair so that I had this, you know, didn't have to put anything in my hair, didn't have to worry about it, had the nice beard going on, but those are not options for me. So for one, I can't shave my head ever. It's gonna look terrible. I have this gigantic, abnormally shaped head. I mean, my bicycle helmet is literally a size XXL. It's huge. All right, it's not gonna look great completely shaved. Second thing, I can't grow a beard. My beard, my facial hair looks terrible. We are two weeks into self-quarantine and this is all I got. This is all I got going on. I mean, I got patches over here. It's just, it just doesn't really grow. It's scraggly. It's never going to look good. In my research into anti-balding solutions, I discovered that the process of fighting hair loss is actually quite similar to asset protection planning. They are similar in a number of ways. One of the most important things for preventing hair loss is starting earlier. The earlier you start, the better off you're going to be. It's easier to prevent the hair loss than to try to get the hair back after you've lost it. I mean, it's very similar to asset protection planning, right? You set it up as early as possible when there's no danger or, you know, pending litigation, or especially after you've, you know, already got an accident or gotten into a lawsuit or something like that. It, it's kind of like insurance, uh, fire insurance for your home, right? You get it before your house burns down. You don't call after it's burned down and, and try to get a policy. The same with hair loss. You want to start as early as possible to get the best results. Another way that asset protection planning and hair loss prevention are similar is that it can be a multi-prong approach. There's multiple things you could do. There's multiple steps in the process. You know, for example, if you're looking towards the, I guess the standard don't lose my hair protocol, you know, you're looking at things like living a healthy lifestyle eating a, a well-balanced diet, getting plenty of sleep, avoiding anxiety, all that sort of thing, good mental health. All of those things can help you keep your hair. Next, you know, you can start adding in vitamins and add in some sort of special shampoo that's going to make your hair follicles just thrive and feel great about themselves. Then you can start to kick it up a notch and you start getting into medication, medication that prevents whatever happens that makes your hair go away, medication that stops that. I don't know what it does. I'm not a doctor. It does something. It blocks something. The point is, it keeps your hair there. Another layer to it, adding some sort of grease to your hair that is meant to stimulate the hair follicles that are already gone to try to grow back the hair that you don't have anymore. Anyway, the, the point is, is it's a comprehensive approach to 
preventing that hair loss and same with asset protection right you have your um, you have your insurance you can rely on state protections like a homestead exemption and retirement accounts that are protected then you can start layering in LLC business planning to segregate the different risks then you can add in that asset protection trust and you just you build on that plan you have all of these different options to make a comprehensive approach a comprehensive strategy in order to prevent you from losing your money assets just like preventing losing your hair it's very similar